Hi students, <coughs> uh, I'm Rashid Ayu, professor of mathematics. Today I'm going to discuss very important topic, inverse of a matrix. What is the formula for the inverse of a matrix? That is, A inverse is equal to 1 over A mod, A mod, A determinant, divided by a joint of A. Okay. We have two cases for inverse. First, if A mod or A determinant equal to 0, A inverse not exists. So in this case, the matrix will be the singular matrix. So remember, when you have a singular matrix, you cannot find out the inverse. For example, we have a matrix A, 1, 2, 2, 4. This is a square matrix. Okay, when you take the determinant, 4 minus 4, it will be 0. And when the determinant of any matrix is 0, that matrix will be singular matrix. And in this case, we cannot find out the inverse of the matrix. In case 2, A determinant does not equal to 0. So remember, when determinant does not equal to 0, in this case, the matrix will be non-singular and we cannot, we can find out the A inverse. So for the singular matrix, we can find inverse. Okay, for example, we have a matrix A with first row 2 iota minus iota, with second row 5 iota, 3 iota and we want to find out the inverse. What is the formula for inverse? 1 over a mod joint of a. Okay. You can see what is the mod? 2 iota multiplied by 3 iota, it will be 6 iota square minus. Again, we have a minus with minus iota. So when we multiply 5 iota minus iota, there exists minus also. So it will become plus 5 iota square. And a joint. For a joint, we have rule principal diagonal will change its position and secondary diagonal will change its sign. So we have PP and SS is a rule for a 2 by 2 square matrix for finding out the joint of A. What is PP? Position of the principal diagonal. What is SS? Sign of the secondary diagonal. So here I apply this rule. We change position of the principal diagonal and we change sign of the secondary diagonal. You can see minus iota will become positive iota and 5 iota will become minus 5 iota. Okay, 6 iota square plus 5 iota square it will become 11 iota square. What is the value of iota square? Minus 1. Okay, change iota square minus 1, it will become minus 1 by 11. Okay, very important topic or question which is paired in different exams. If we have a matrix A, 1, 3, minus 2, 1, B, 3, 6, 1, 2, then which one is true? Okay, A option AB inverse equal to B inverse A inverse, B option B inverse inverse equal to B, C, both A and B, D, none. So in this case, uh, I will give you the answer that is delta because I told you if the determinant equal to 0, that matrix will be the singular and there is no existence of the inverse of the matrix. Okay, you can see here what is B. When you take the determinant of B, 6 minus 6, it means determinant will be 0. So when determinant 0, it is a singular matrix, it means no inverse exists. So this will true. This will true for the inverses, but here it is not true. Here it is not true. So this is also not true. So that is the right option for this question. Okay, another important question which appeared different entrance exams. We have a matrix A, 1, 2, 3, 4, and A square minus 5, A inverse minus K, I2 equal to 0. We don't need to solve the whole equation. We only solve for the one element. Okay, A square mean what is A, 1, 2, 3, 4. We will write it two times, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, minus A inverse. What is A inverse? I already told you the formula of A inverse, 1 over A mod, it's going to fail. Okay. A mod, 4 minus 6. 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Okay. And uh, what is the adjoint? I will change the position, 1, 4 by 4, 1, and change the sign of the scan 2, 3 will replace minus 2 and minus 3. Okay. Minus K, 
I to indicate the identity matrix of order 2 1 0 0 1 in which is equal to 0 here it is not 0 but it is a 0 matrix of order 2 by 2 so I will replace it 0 0 0 0 so I want to find out the value of k it is not necessary to solve the whole equation I will just take the one row okay 1 multiply 1 2 multiply 3 let the remaining element okay 5 by 2 multiply by these four element minus k equal to 0 so I just take single row and I will solve this for k okay 1 into 1 2 into 3 this 2 by cancel this 5 into 2 will become 10 minus k equal to 0 simplify this you will get k is equal to 70 another important question if we have a matrix A and the question is asked what is the determinant A A inverse so we already know A A inverse is equal to identity of order n if it is a 2 by 2 then I 2 if A is 3 by 3 then I 3 if A is 4 by 4 then I 4 it means if A is I A is n order so it will be indicate I n so it is a unit matrix a, A inverse unit matrix determinant of the unit matrix will be 1 so 1 is the right answer ok we have a few properties for the joint very important properties so many questions involved in the different exam regarding to these properties a joint of AB is equal to a joint of A into a joint of B then you have two matrices ko multiply karke uska joint le या फिर उन दोनों के जॉइंट को मल्टीप्लाई करें इक्वेशन विल रिमेन सेम ओके आप अगर किसी भी मैट्रिक्स के ट्रांसपोज का जॉइंट लें या फिर अ जॉइंट ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स लेके ट्रांसपोज लें रिजल्ट विल बी द सेम एंड वी हैव ए इनवर्स बेसिकली वन ओवर ए मोड अ जॉइंट ऑफ ए सो हियर इज अ आई एन आल्सो इन्वॉल्व सो व्हाट विल बी द ए मोड इट विल बी a become on this side a into a joint of a is equal to a mod the next property if a diagonal matrix then a joint of a will also be the diagonal if a is triangular matrix then a joint of a will also be the triangular matrix anyone asked in the exam if a is symmetric then what will be the joint of a obviously if a is symmetric then a joint of a will be symmetric matrix so this is a very important topic which appeared so many exams so hope it will be fruitful for you thank you very much